Okay, my next book is called Frozen Fire, and it is about a techno thriller about weather and also about methane hydrate, which is uh, the world's largest fossil fuel. Methane hydrate is at the bottom of the ocean, underneath the ocean floor, about 200 feet. It was formed there 100 million years ago by fossil and plant life, formed uh, in the ocean, sinks down in below uh, the ocean surface, is heated by the core of the earth, and then bubbles back up in a gas form called methane. And the methane hydrate forms in an ice form, and that's why the book is called Frozen Fire. Uh, the book takes place uh, in the Caribbean. Uh, there's a, a, a millionaire businessman who figures out a, a way to mine methane hydrate and try to help the world with its uh, natural resource issue of, you know, energy around the planet, being able to have a cheap source of fuel and energy. And so that's pretty much where the book takes off. Frozen Fire is uh, uh, a book about figuring out ways of alternative energy sources. And, uh, of course, there, there's, there's some other people who would like to see that not happen since you have natural gas and oil interests. So it's a wonderful techno thriller, and it, uh, it is, a, is a story that talks about the world's largest fossil fuel, which eclipses methane, methane hydrate, eclipses uh, oil and natural gas by trillions of metric tons. It's also in the Alaska permafrost and also in, in uh, Siberia. And it's been mined by the uh, Russians for a number of years, as well as uh, the Japanese below the Earth's surface. So the beauty of methane hydrate is it burns absolutely clean. It's a fossil fuel in an ice form. The ice burns. You have to separate the ice from the gas. But the gas itself burns absolutely clean, so you don't harm the atmosphere. You can cook with it, put it in your automobile, heat your home. The one downside to methane hydrate, though, is that released in its natural state, it is a greenhouse gas multiplier by a force of 10. So that's the techno thriller Frozen Fire.